How do you deal with a narcissist? Just when you think that you may have the idea of how they think and behave, they will just throw a complete spanner in the works and there you are back at square one with them. I have come up over the years with an acronym that I think might be useful for people. It's all very well when a narcissist is kind of throwing accusations and just generally being horrible and narcissistic at you for other people to say, oh, just don't go there. But actually there is some value in that. Don't go there. T, do not take it personally. Very, very hard to do. I really appreciate that. When a narcissist is being really personal about your appearance, about your family, about your values potentially, it's really hard. But just remember, they would be like this with anybody. You just happen to be in the firing line. They will be like this with absolutely anybody. So do not take it personally. Don't try and haggle H with a narcissist. There is no point trying to reason with unreason, to be rational with irrational. It will just use all of your energy and expenditure up and then that makes you more susceptible for the next narcissistic incoming. So don't try and haggle. Don't engage with a narcissist. That's kind of where they want you. They know where you are. So if they've engaged with you, they're going to pull you over to their side because that's what they're used to doing with people. So just don't go there. So when they throw something at you, some accusation, some, you know, whatever it is, you know, just wild statement at you that is personal and all the things and irrational, don't engage, don't try and defend because you just end up with that cycle of conversation over and over and over again. And then you end up just kind of kind of going, OK, I just shouldn't have gone there in the first place. And you probably may even end up apologising to the narcissist, which will then just validate them even more. Don't react to a narcissist when they are, again, coming at you with all the personal stuff or even the tiny little stuff. You know, the little snippets of, oh, well, you know, I think you could have done that better or why don't you? And then there's a plethora of things that they'll tell you that they believe that you should do. Do not react to them. This is where the lovely grey rock technique comes in, which is, OK, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. OK, thank you for your, your comments. You know, the narcissist would be, be, be raging at that. But don't react to them because, again, they want you to do that because that just uses all of your energy up. And don't explain yourself. You are an adult. You do not have to explain your behaviours to a narcissist. And even if you did, the chances are that unless it benefits them in some way or another, it's just going to go straight in one ear and out of the other because it, they're just not interested. They're only interested in themselves. Narcissists, by their very nature, are validation seeking, attention seeking. They want to feel special. They want to feel unique. And all the time they have people in their lives, like potentially you or maybe in the past you, um, then they're going to want to hold on to you by throwing accusations at you, by confusing you, by maybe giving you the silent treatment completely out of the blue. You don't know what you've done. You, you know, the confusion that a narcissist will throw at you to keep you in their life, offering you, offering them your, their supply. That's exactly what a narcissist wants. I'm thinking about narcissists. I'm even getting confused myself. This is what they do to people. But you are better than that. So don't go there. I'm Dr. Jane. I'm a psychologist. I'm used to dealing with the narcissists of this world, in, the, in this world. So please like and subscribe. Comment below. It'll just be brilliant. I'd be just thrilled to hear what people have to say. See you next time and keep safe.